Hello students, today we uh, learn about the efficiency of warm gearing. The efficiency of warm gearing may be defined as the ratio of work done by the warm gear to the work done by warm. If we see the mathematical relation then uh, eta is equal to tan lam lambda into cos phi minus mu into tan lambda divided by cos phi into tan lambda plus mu where mu is the uh, sorry phi is the normal pressure angle mu is the coefficient of friction and lambda is the lead angle the efficiency is maximum when tan lambda is equal to under root of 1 plus mu square minus mu where mu is the uh, mu is the coefficient of friction lambda is the lead angle in order to find out the approximate value of the efficiency assuming square threads the following relation may be used for square threads that is eta is equal to tan lambda into bracket 1 minus mu into tan lambda divided by tan lambda plus mu which is equal to if we uh, divide uh, throughout by tan lambda then 1 minus mu into tan lambda divided by 1 plus mu divided by tan lambda which is equal to tan lambda upon tan lambda plus phi 1 where phi 1 is angle of friction such that tan phi 1 is equal to mu. The coefficient of friction varies with the speed reaching a minimum value of 0 0.015 at a rubbing speed vr is equal to pi dw into nw upon cos lambda where dw is the piece circle diameter for warm nw is the uh, speed of warm lambda is the lead angle uh, that is vr is in between uh, 100 to 165 meters per minute for a speed below 10 meters per minute take mu is equal to 0 0.015 the following empirical relation may be used to find the value of mu that is mu is equal to 0 0.275 divided by uh, vr that is rubbing speed bracket raised to 0 0.25 for rubbing speed between 12 and meters per minute to uh, 180 meters per minute mu is equal to 0 0.025 plus rubbing speed uh, divided by 18,000 for rubbing speed more than 180 meters per minute if this is the condition then you use this relation and uh, efficiency value is also important uh, according to the uh, self locking condition if the efficiency of warm gearing is less than 50 percent then the warm gearing is said to be self locking that is it can be driven by applying a torque to the wheel this properly uh, this property of self locking is desirable in some applications such as hoisting machinery so in this way we finish the uh, efficiency term in case of warm and warm wheel we see one numerical uh, first i read uh, the problem statement a triple threaded worm has teeth of 6 mm module and piece circle diameter of 50 mm if the warm gear has 30 teeth of 14 into half degree and the coefficient of friction of the warm gearing is 0 0.05 find first the lead angle of the warm second the velocity ratio third the center distance fourth the efficiency of the warm gearing so first we point out given data so number of start in case of this gear is n is equal to 3 module is given that is 6 mm piece circle diameter for warm is 50 mm number of teeth on gear is 30 pressure angle phi is 14.5 degree coefficient of friction mu is 0 0.05 now we start with first that is lead angle of the warm let lambda is the lead angle of the warm we know that the relation of uh, fi finding the lambda that is tan lambda is equal to module into n divided by that is number of start divided by p circle diameter of warm that is dw all three values are available we substitute these values so tan lambda is equal to 0.36 so lambda is equal to tan inverse of 0.36 which is equal to 19.8 degree this is our answer if we see second that is velocity ratio we know that velocity ratio is equal to number of teeth on gear divided by number of start on warm so which is equal to 30 divided by 3 so velocity ratio is equal to 10 this is our second answer then center distance we indicate center distance with symbol x we know that the piece circle diameter of the warm gear that is dg is equal to module into number of teeth on gear so 
which is equal to 6 into 30 that is 180 mm so center distance x is equal to dw plus dg upon 2 we know the value of dw and dg we substitute that values so 50 plus 180 upon 2 which is equal to 115 mm this is our answer number 3 now we want to find out the efficiency of form gearing we know the relation that is lambda is equal to no, sorry if eta is equal to tan lambda into bracket cos phi minus mu into tan lambda divided by cos phi into tan lambda plus mu substitute all the values oh, lambda is 19.8 degree phi is 14.5 degree mu is 0 0.05 lambda is 19.8 we substitute all the values after calculating this we get efficiency is 0.858 or 85.8 percent and this is our fourth answer in this way we see the uh, efficiency term and also we solve numerical on warm and warm wheel so here we stop our lecture thank you